That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. So I've got a chunk of cherry here and I'm going to try my first ever natural edge bowl. It's a little on the large side. It's about pretty close to eight inches uh, wide and uh, pretty close to six inches tall. Um, so anyway, so we're going to turn this. We're going to make a natural edge bowl, as I said. But before that, I want to... Um, do a couple of things. First and foremost, I do, I want to thank every last one of you for the support that you've shown uh, my channel, uh, you know, since the beginning and especially here at the, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks. I've just seen a tremendous growth on the channel. With that said, um, I'm, I've already hit 500 subscribers, so I want to do a giveaway. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to give, do a giveaway and you know we're going to talk more about that here at the uh, at the end uh, but let's get to, to turning this So I had sanded it, applied a finish, took it off, go to flip it around, and I don't like it. I, I after I looking at it, it just it's too square. I want this to come in more, a lot more, um, so it's a very gentle curve coming in, and it's just too blocky. So um, luckily, I hadn't taken the worm screw out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start over. Well, not start over, but you know what I mean gonna keep it on the lathe and I'm gonna put it to the shape that I want so sometimes you just got to do that even though you'd made you know you'd finished it sand it but you know that's that's just the way it is when you're not happy with it so you got to be happy so um, I'm gonna stop yakking and we're going to get to uh, getting a better shape on this Well, I don't know if you guys ever have any of uh, those days where it just doesn't feel like everything's going right. Um, I, mean, I haven't had any problems per se. I just can't get, I'm just not happy with the shape. Uh, maybe I'm just being too hard. But, and also this, the end grain here is so tough. I've tried uh, sanding it with uh, 60 grit. I might have to go down to 40. But anyway, I think, I think to, I'm gonna call it a day because uh, you know it's just no fun when you're frustrated and sometimes it's better just to take a step away and come back and uh, approach it with a fresh look so that's what i'm gonna do so i am uh, gonna i'm gonna go jump in the pool it's extremely hot here 
in the workshop. It's 97. I'm getting a mini split soon. So maybe that's what it is. My brain is cooking and I just need to go take a dip in the pool. So I'm going to go do that and I'm going to be back at this thing tomorrow with a brighter attitude and we'll get this thing knocked out. So I'll see you in the morning. Well, it's the next day and uh, I feel more refreshed. However, as you can see in the screen here, uh, my bowl has developed more cracks than a plumber convention. So <laughs> with that said, I've uh, yet one more design change before I fix the cracks is, I, I think this is what I didn't like yesterday, is I think the bowl is, is too thick. I think I need to take it down to about here. And that's maybe, I don't know, let's see. Let's see what we got here. That's maybe an inch and a half. I think I need to take an inch and a half off the bottom and really set this bowl up to be proportional, um, the height, you know, with the, the width that it is. And I think that'll make it look a lot better. So I'm hoping to turn past some of these cracks maybe, but if not, I've got a bunch of sawdust that are down there. And then yesterday I collected during the sanding um, some finer sand sawdust that um, I'm going to super glue in. So anyway, so I'm going to uh, turn this down a little bit and um, I'll show that. Probably won't talk about it too much. And then I'll, I'll put my finish on it and then I'll flip it around and I'll show you and talk to you more about that once I get there. So, all right, let's get this thing turned down a little bit more. As you can tell, I've got a lot of cracks in here, so I'm just trying to fill them. I'm also just uh, putting some, soaking in some super glue on this rim to try to hold it together. And um, so I'm gonna go back to the cracks on the side here and just start filling them with um, some sawdust. But that's after I get this rim trying to treat it to just trying to hold it together when I start to take apart the, um, or not take apart, but you know, start to hollow out the inside. So I'm just kind of flooding it with maybe a little bit too much, but just trying to get it with um, enough super glue that it kind of soaks down in there. All right, so now let me just take a little bit more here. This, I don't know how this is gonna wind up. I don't know if this, this is gonna stain it, but we'll see. So just put a little glue, a little sawdust, tons of sawdust here. And then I kind of just try to work it down into the cracks. And I'll just put a little bit more. Well, that uh, was interesting. I think I've got the shape that I like, and uh, I think it's, it's as good as I'm going to get it, and that's okay. Um, so now the challenge is to um, see if I can keep this bark on and let's get it hollowed out.
don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm putting this ax restoring paste on the bark very gently. Hopefully it'll just melt right in and kind of preserve it. Um, I don't know what else to do. Maybe, maybe you can put some comments down below if you think you, uh, you know, you've got a good, good way of preserving the bark. Uh, so, but it's what I'm doing, you know. But I'm, I'm like I said, I'm curious. Oh, so. whoa, that was. Um, it was challenging, but it was also a lot of fun at the same time. Um, I apologize that the video was probably a little long. I haven't edited yet, but it, um, I was turning for a while. So we'll see how much I cut out of it. But anyway, I just, I, I didn't like the shape of it. Um, and finally, what it took for me to get happy with the shape is I had to take it down because originally it started out to be pretty close to six inches high. And let me, let me get the ruler. I think it's going to be in the neighborhood of four inches. Let's see. Four and a half. So that's the neighborhood. So I took about an inch and a half of it off, but this is about a probably, yeah, pretty close to a half inch foot. So the actual bowl is about four inches tall. And I, I just like that. I think the, um, the bowl was proportional. That's the one thing that I'm learning. And, and if you see some of my other videos, you'll see that I didn't have the proportions right. And it's important to me, at least, uh, in looking at a bowl is that the proportions are right. Is the height, uh, you know, in proportion to the, the width. But anyway. I'm very happy with it now. I was able to keep the bark intact and I really like that. I probably need to take a Q-tip or something and get some of this um, polish out of it. But anyway, I feel like I'm rambling a lot and I probably am. I may get a couple of comments and I apologize in advance. But anyway, I'm very happy with it. I think it turned out really nice. It was challenging. I did learn a lot. I sharpened my tools to try to get uh, rid of some of the tear out. But in the end, 60 grit sandpaper came to my rescue. So if you remember a long way at the beginning of this video, I talked about a, a giveaway. So for my 500 uh, subscriber giveaway. And again, if you know, you know, I want to say thank you once again. I can't say thank you enough for all of the support you guys have given me. But so for the giveaway, what I want to do is, uh, you know, comment down below and, uh, you know, say uh, something, you know, or just a comment, say something good about the bowl, say something bad about the bowl. But anyway, in, in order to enter, just please subscribe, put a comment down below. And what you will be getting if you are the winner of this, and I'll announce that in the next video is, hey, you're going to get one of these stylish Wolfridge woodworking uh, t-shirts in your size. And then I think that's the ultimate prize. You may disagree. But anyway, so the second part of the giveaway is your choice between a $25 gift card to Woodcraft or a, uh, a set of Axe abrasive paste and polishing um, paste. I really like uh, the way that it finishes it. Um, plus, you get both the polish and the paste for the price that you normally would pay for just the abrasive paste. So it's a good deal. Um, if you also, uh, they've given me a coupon code for 10% off. It's Wolf10, and you'll also find that down in the uh, comments or in the description below. So again, to recap briefly, uh, enter uh, in order to enter, you have to be a subscriber, put a comment below. Uh, you will get one of these t-shirts and uh, your choice between a $25 gift card to Woodcraft or uh, the Axe uh, Abrasive Paste and, uh, and um, Restoring Polish. So uh, that is uh, my spiel. I'm going to stop talking about that. And um, if this is, uh, you know, your first time visiting here and you'd like to become a subscriber, I encourage you to click up here and become a subscriber. Click that bell to be notified when I upload a new video. If this is something that you liked and you want to see other videos like it, click right here to see additional videos. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.